Well, consoles have always taken a back seat in my gaming life. They have, they've never been quite the thing uh, here in my country, in Greece, and that's the way it's it's been since uh, since ever since the the dawn of the computer age. I mean, personal computers have always been uh, much more popular, uh, and the reason is simply due to the fact that uh, families couldn't afford the luxury to have multiple devices at home so a computer could perfectly play the role of a gaming machine and also be an educational tool for uh, for kids primarily helping them uh, to program and uh, later on enter the IT space uh, help them integrate computers uh, <clears throat> in their academic and professional careers. So, my gaming experiences have always had to do with uh, computers. First in the 80s uh, with the 8-bit home micros, uh, you know, Spectrum, Commodore, Amstrad, and uh, later on with, uh, with, with IBM PC compatibles. I followed PC gaming from the, uh, the, the primitive years of uh, uh, grayscale monitors, uh, four megahertz processors, uh, you know, five and a quarter inch uh, floppy drives. As it evolved in graphics and uh, sound fidelity, always keeping uh, a step ahead of uh, consoles, at least in the technical department. Uh, the only reason I ever got into consoles uh, was the exclusives, the games that I knew that were never going to be to come out for the for the PC. So back in 2004, um, I got my original Xbox, which I got, I still have, it's still working, and uh, a short time after that. I think it was uh, the spring of 2005. I got a PS2 Slim. Um, for the PlayStation, I know exactly the reason why I bought it. I, it was Gran Turismo 4. Along the way, I got uh, my uh, uh, I got a couple of other PS2 exclusives. Uh, God of War and Shadow of the Colossus, and uh, but it was really about uh, GT4. You know, the PC never had such a huge driving game. Uh, you know, with the progression, the grind, the uh, the challenges to get those licenses, uh, the enormous roster of the of the available cars, uh, the wealth of uh, available tracks and championships and uh, all these races uh, and it was, it was a really wonderful experience now with the Xbox things were a little different I I bought this console <clears throat> because I liked its design it, it looked like uh, it looked like a PC um, uh, it was super uh, technically superior to uh, to the PS2 and um, I got it because it was comparatively easy to hack it and turn it into a very nice XBMC media center uh, I knew it was rather weak in terms of uh, specs it was uh, just a seller on with uh, a Celeron CPU with a modest NVIDIA graphics chip for that time but uh, there were actually some pretty uh, amazing games for the for this console uh, I got it primarily for the racing games in particular uh, Rally Sport Challenge, you know, Forza, Project Gotham Racer and uh, of course I was lucky enough to have uh, free games sent over to me 
from the game companies representatives uh, because at the time I was working as an editor in computer magazines uh, but uh, <coughs> I soon uh, discovered that the Xbox wasn't as good as the PS2 in terms of uh, the quality of exclusive titles and uh, some games that came out for the for both the Xbox and the PC really uh, showed the, the 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 massive gap in visual fidelity between the two platforms. For example, the Xbox version of Half-Life 2. Uh, personally, it was quite disappointing compared to the PC version. And Halo 2 was even worse for me. Uh, in fact, Halo 2 uh, became an obsession for me at the time. It, it was, uh, I think, the first time ever um, I, I sort of fell victim of the hype and um, I was hugely disappointed. Um, of the uh, of the atrocious frame rates and uh, the horribly low resolution and uh, uh, several bug issues of the game. Now, uh, from then on, in the following years, I got all three of the seventh generation consoles. Again, I got the 360 and the PS3 primarily for the flagship racing games. Forza 2, 3 and 4 for the 360 and uh, of course Gran Turismo 5 and 6 for the PS3 and again I spent most of my time playing exclusives like the Halo games or the Gears of War series uh, but I was never a, a big fan of those games you know. most of them again I got as uh, promotional samples or a reviewer code uh, at my job, and I would, uh, when uh, I had some free time, I would binge play one after another to finish the whole franchise in uh, at one swoop, usually in the summer. Uh, but again, with um, with PS3, it was a little different. Uh, it had, uh, in my personal opinion, it had more compelling exclusives like Heavy Rain, The Last of Us, or the Uncharted series. And I actually preferred it over the 360 when it came to titles that uh, were uh, multi platform, you know, Red Dead Redemption, GTA V, and so on. Um, it was always more convenient for me on the PS3 to to do stuff like uh, swapping hard drives uh, especially with a fast SSD which has which mattered a lot in actual the gameplay and frame rate uh, now with uh, Nintendo Wii well, I just wanted to try this this new gimmick the you know the motion controllers and uh, at first it was a bit of fun, it's uh, admittedly it's the console I played uh, the least and I was uh, never into Mario or Zelda or anything uh, like that um, but I did get uh, Guitar, Guitar Hero uh, which was very enjoyable especially when I had friends coming over and uh, I had some good times with uh, games like like uh, Metroid Prime and um, especially I liked some 2D uh, fighting games like uh, Tetsunoko vs Capcom which I really like because of the, the crazy combos and the, the weird animations of the characters but I never really got into this console seriously you know most of most of the games Nintendo makes are obviously targeted towards kids, so yeah. <clears throat> now, very recently I got uh, an Xbox One just for the Forza games. Uh, 
but uh, there were some other games that came with it and recently I got Sunset Overdrive which maybe some of these days I will uh, try um, so I got an Xbox One even though Microsoft is opening uh, the Forza franchise on the PC as well um, I will probably be getting uh, the PS4 Neo whenever that comes out uh, it's supposedly uh, uh, it's supposedly to be announced on the September the 7th I think and again I will uh, have my uh, my sights on the upcoming uh, Gran Turismo Sport I think it's the new Gran Turismo game and uh, I will also uh, try to catch up with some exclusive PS4 titles uh, like Uncharted 4 but I will definitely not buy the, the, the present uh, the original PS4 console because I will be missing out on uh, very important innovations and technologies that will come out with a you know with the, the new version of uh, PS4 or whatever uh, whatever it's called but again um, I, I want to stretch that to stress that as much as I like consoles old and new uh, I don't appreciate the uh, the restrictions the the limited freedom they give to the to the gamer um, it's uh, I find it uh, very frustrating to be so limited in uh, what controllers I can have, what size of hard drive I can install, um, not being able to have access to the file system without hacking the, the machine, or even being unable to capture footage because of uh, deliberate restrictions of restrictions in the in the video output and uh, you know, I, I really hate the, those uh, the shenanigans and the uh, disrespectful choices uh, that the companies make uh, just to control the experience of the consumer to uh, to retain them uh, to, to uh, like uh, like there are hands or like we are hands or sheep and to stay in their in little in their picket fenced uh, corporate barns um, so of course there's uh, I agree very much on that there's uh, well, the state uh, the, uh, the argument and there is uh, a very strong argument to be made about the the lost simplicity of the consoles of uh, past generations and uh, the ease of use of the old gaming um, systems and uh, the value of the proper physical copy that you can have in your possession and keep enjoying for uh, f forever practically without uh, any need to connect to any network or face the uh, the predicament of uh, server shutdowns. Um, but at the end of the day, they're just uh, whatever uh, system you choose, PC, console, handheld, or. Uh, you know, mobile devices, uh, it doesn't matter, there are just so many systems, so many games old and new um, so many um, choices that one can never um, feel legitimately bored, I mean you can spend thousands of lifetimes uh, playing uh, just once each playing each game just once um, so I don't worry I really don't worry about the future of the consoles or for the uh, virtual re reality or uh, any other technology that may come along they will 
all at some time um, stabilize and mature at some um, you know uh, prevailing system and some uh, format that will uh, win the hearts of the gamers and uh, um, and who knows maybe someday we'll uh, uh, games will be you know transmitted directly into your brain uh, we'll have no need of uh, controllers or systems uh, it will be a second reality and of course that would really be uh, an Orwellian development and quite frankly a shitty a shitty development um, in which I have no intention to partake. Thank you very much.